Hello, and thanks for using TickBoom, a free service that helps high school students with their math problems. For this video, I'll be taking a look at this question that a student sent through uh, being a proof question, uh, inequality proof, that says, if we let A, B, and C be greater than zero, then prove that A on B plus C plus B on A plus C plus C on A plus B is greater than or equal to three on two. And it's uh, interesting that this question uh, was sent through by the same student that um, sent through a whole bunch of other inequality proof questions that, that I recently worked through. Um, and uh, coincidentally, or, or maybe it's no coincidence, the technique that we used in um, one of those earlier questions is actually the same technique that's gonna help us here. So whilst this is a totally separate question, it's a good example of how once you practice enough inequality proofs, you start to develop some um, results that you can kind of add to your toolkit and make use of um, when tackling new questions. So we'll see that here. So to start, I'll just write out what we're being asked to prove. So uh, the result is that A on B plus C plus B on A plus C plus C on A plus B is greater than or equal to three on two, noting that our starting point is A, B, and C, all greater than zero. Um, now, it can be hard to know where to start with a question like this. Um, a technique I've mentioned in the past is that you can kind of um, start to play around with the result you're given and see if that gets you anywhere. Now that is something I, I did kind of think about, but um, at least for this question, it didn't really help. It, it doesn't always get you somewhere useful. Um, but actually where I got to for this question was thinking about, again, some of the techniques I saw in some other recent questions I worked through. Um, that result where if you add um, uh, uh, something with its reciprocal, you get something greater than or equal to two, that jumped out as me as being potentially useful just because we can then start to replace things with actual numbers and maybe get somewhere. And so what I thought a good place to start would be to kind of um, uh, consider something that would get us the sum of those reciprocals. So um, if we think about, if I, if I take each of these bits of the denominator, so maybe the way I'll, I'll say, let's consider something completely separate, which is B plus C, being this bit, plus A plus C, plus A plus B. If we take that and we multiply it by just one over each of these. So one over B plus C, plus one over A plus C, plus one over A plus B. This you may notice will probably eventually get us to a place that um, is going to uh, kind of simplify to this result. So uh, we'll, we'll see it as I work through. Uh, it might not seem right, completely obvious right now, but um, there, there, it's kind of no coincidence that this is what I've chosen to consider. Basically, I take these denominators, I kind of add them all up in the nu numerator and multiply by just one over instead of these letters. So let's think about what we get here. So if I kind of keep these in pairs and then expand them in, what will we get? So we'd get B plus C on B plus C, plus B plus C on A plus C, plus B plus C on A plus B. So that's this first one. Now the next one, we get A plus C on B plus C, plus A plus C on A plus C, plus A plus C on A plus B. And now finally, we'd get A plus B on B plus C, plus A plus B on A plus C, plus A plus B on A plus B. 
And the first thing you may notice, I'll just use another colour, we've got three items here. B plus C, A plus C on A plus C, and A plus B on A plus B. They're all going to simplify to 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1, because it's just the same thing multiplied. So that's the first thing we can note. So we'll get 3 plus, and given there's a 3 in our inequality, I kind of take comfort from seeing that perhaps this, this technique is going to lead somewhere useful. Now what I'm going to do is be quite deliberate and um, match up the reciprocals. So B plus C on A plus C, I want to match that with A plus C on B plus C, the reciprocal. And um, uh, green, if I do B plus C on A plus B, I want to match that with A plus B on B plus C. And then finally, A plus C on A plus B, I want to match with A plus B on A plus C. So each of those being reciprocal. So, so we'll get um, B plus C on A plus C plus A plus C on B plus C. So that's one group. I'll just use brackets. I don't need these brackets, but it just helps me visually with the grouping. Um, so now uh, B plus plus C on A plus B plus A plus B on B plus C and then finally um, A plus C on A plus B plus A plus B on A plus C. So uh, hopefully that, that's made sense so far. I've just taken this starting point and kind of expanded and done some strategic grouping. Now, now, now that we've got these kind of pairs of reciprocals, the technique that I used in a prior video, and I might give a link to that just so that you can have a look um, if you haven't seen it, um, we, can, we, can, we can kind of convert these into actual numbers. So um, uh, maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll just write the general result. So if I took, say, two numbers x and y, if I had x on y plus y on x in general, that would be if I get a common denominator x squared plus y squared on xy. And if I complete the square, I'd get x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. If I'm going to subtract 2xy, I'll need to add it back all on xy. And then um, this kind of becomes a difference of two squares. So this would be x minus y squared plus 2xy on xy. And I could write that as x minus y squared on xy plus uh, 2xy on xy would just become plus 2. And this I can say is definitely greater than or equal to 2 since x minus y squared would be positive and, and we've got kind of x and y each being positive if, if we're um, x and y greater than zero, if we're kind of sticking with the situation we're dealing with, so the, the reciprocals each being made up of positive numbers. So that greater than or equal to 2 um, comes in handy because now I can... Um, uh, kind of say each of these is greater than or equal to 2. So what I can do is kind of come back to my starting point and um, kind of replace all of this, this result with actual numbers. So I could say therefore um, B plus C plus A plus C plus A plus B times 1 on B plus C plus 1 on A plus C plus 1 on A plus B. So just this thing I started with. That's going to be, I can make this now an inequality because it's going to be greater than or equal to the um, 3 that, that we had. And then all of these greater than or equal to. So the 3 plus the 2 plus the 2 plus the 2. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So basically greater than or equal to 9. Alright, 
so um, I might just have to turn over here but um, if I now kind of think about the expand if I think about the expansion of this like how how I had this expansion um, remembering these are all sums so uh, these brackets kind of don't really need to be there they helped me with um, with doing this grouping to notice the reciprocals but basically I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of uh, go through this expansion again but simplify it in a slightly different way to get get back to this so we've kind of got this starting point is greater than or equal to 9 now let's um, kind of uh, take this but find the bits that have common denominators so I could say therefore 3 plus and um, I'll take the B plus C on A plus C, B plus C on A plus C. I'm going to strategically write that now with A plus B on A plus C, A plus B on A plus C plus, and now I'll take A plus C on B plus C. So A plus C on B plus C, and I'm going to pair that up with a plus B on B plus C. And then finally, we'll have um, B plus C on A plus B. And I'll pair that up with A plus C on A plus B. And that's okay to do because, as I mentioned, this is all just adding up. So in terms of orders of operation, I'm not changing anything by kind of moving them around. Um, I'm just kind of using brackets as a visual way of grouping things, um, just for the benefit of um, kind of uh, keeping track of what's going on. So the first expansion of this was helpful for turning it into an inequality. Now this alternative way of simplifying is gonna be helpful for getting this left-hand side into um, this format. So uh, I need to now finish off the inequality because we can say this is greater than or equal to nine because we've kind of got that our starting point is greater than or equal to nine. Therefore, the, the rearrangement that I've done will also be greater than or equal to nine. Um, first thing I could do is probably bring this three over to make it, this will become a six. And I could also start to bring these common denominators together. So we'll get um, um, B plus C plus A plus B on um, A plus C plus A plus C plus A plus B on B plus C plus B plus C plus A plus C on A plus B. So all I've done is just note that these have common denominators, so I can bring them together. That's going to be greater than or equal to 9 minus 3 is 6. Now we can kind of bring, bring some things together. So we'll have um, 2b, we've got 2b's here, plus c plus a is the same as a plus c on a plus c, plus... Um, we've got a B plus C and two A, so two A plus B plus C on B plus C plus two C plus A plus B on A plus B. That's all greater than or equal to six. And notice here, this can, can simplify. We've got a two B on A plus C plus an A plus C on A plus C. And here we've got a 2A on B plus C, plus a B plus C on B plus C. And here we've got a 2C on A plus B, plus an A plus B on A plus B. And that's all greater than or equal to 6. So here I kind of brought my common denominators together and in doing so, was able to then split them apart in a slightly different way to then get essentially 
another set of 1 plus 1 plus 1. So um, simplifying this, we'll first, first um, notice that for these three bits, I can factor out a 2. So we'll get 2 bracket b on a plus c plus a on b plus c plus c on a plus b plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So that's all greater than or equal to 6. Now let's just bring this 3 over. So we'll get um, 2b on a plus c plus a on b plus c plus c on a plus b is greater than or equal to 6 minus 3 is 3. Therefore, b on a plus c plus a on b plus c plus c on a plus b is greater than or equal to 3 on 2. Let's have a look. B on A plus C, A on B plus C, C on A plus B. So pretty much, I mean, I'll just rewrite it in the right order just to make it really clear. So we'll get A on B plus C plus B on A plus C plus C on A plus B greater than or equal to 3 on 2 as required. So there you go. That's the result that we were asked to prove um, with this one condition being that each of A, B, and C are greater than zero. And um, actually quite a tricky one um, when you really step back and think about it, because starting from this point um, is not completely obvious. I had to try quite a few other things before I finally thought to do this. Um, and what triggered me to think to do this was just simply kind of no noting or noticing that that I could kind of expand it in two ways. The first way allowing me to get an inequality based on this result that I had kind of almost been reminded of through recently doing a, a different question. And then also noticing that I could expand this in another way to get back to, to this result. So um, a bit of trial and error there, not, not, not kind of something that's just completely obvious what to do. And sometimes inequality proofs can be like that. It, it can be um, hard to know where to start. There's always the technique of um, kind of working backwards from the result, but that didn't really help me. It, I mean, maybe it could, maybe there is a way to kind of get there. Um, I mean, obviously there technically is, but it's, it's uh, it kind of wasn't obvious to me. Um, what kind of did eventually work for me is, is just having that, um, moment of creativity to think actually this form, this kind of um, expression could be helpful. So hopefully you've been able to follow along with that and it's made sense. Um, if you did find that explanation helpful, please be sure to give it a like. And if you're someone who wants to keep their finger on the pulse with the kinds of questions that other students are struggling with, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay in the loop. All right, tick boom.